morning to everybody. Honorable the Acting uh, Chief Justice of the Delhi High Court, Justice uh, Gita Mittal, uh, Professor Madhav Menon, my teacher in uh, the Delhi Law Faculty, and all the other distinguished guests, Mr. Rupinder Suri, who is the President of the Supreme Court Bar Association, uh, Mr. Raj uh, Libran. Well, uh, we, I think, have a wonderful uh, program lined up today. Uh, with the launch of uh, law skills. I think this is something which is, uh, you know, extremely important uh, that uh, a step that has been taken by uh, Manupatra and their team. I've been thinking about, you know, legal education uh, for a long time. I have, of course, been thinking in the context of uh, education for judges. Uh, I've been associated with that for now, I think, a little more than 10 years. Uh, where we have uh, continuing judicial education for uh, judicial officers, uh, for judges of the High Court, newly uh, appointed judges, judges who have been there for some time, and also uh, for the judges of the Supreme Court. And last year we had a retreat for all the judges of the Supreme Court uh, in uh, the National Judicial Academy in Bhopal. It was a very successful uh, program and uh, I believe it might be repeated again uh, next year sometime in March. Um, but, you know, we've been looking at uh, legal education or continuing legal education for judges, which I think is very important uh, for a variety of reasons. One of them being that uh, it, the law keeps changing. Uh, there are new developments in the law. There are new disciplines of the law. Uh, something like cyber crimes, for example, was unheard of uh, when I was a student. Uh, intellectual property rights, well, we'd heard about them, but uh, not in the manner in which we are hearing about uh, IPR today. So these developments have been taking place over the last uh, several years, over the last couple of decades, and uh, I think all of us need to be educated in these developments in the law. Uh, one of the uh, more important steps that was taken uh, for the judiciary, of course, was the setting up of the National Judicial Academy and um, subsequently state judicial academies. But I think for the lawyers, uh, for the legal profession, we had some excellent uh, law colleges. The law faculty in Delhi was uh, definitely one of the best. Uh, we had a very good uh, government law college in Bombay and in several other places. But I think uh, a sort of a quantum leap was taken when uh, the National Law University uh, was set up in Bangalore under the stewardship of uh, Professor Madhav Menon. Uh, that was a huge jump in uh, legal education. Uh, we've seen the results of that over the last uh, couple of years, where we have some outstanding lawyers coming out of the National Law School. And uh, over the years, uh, similar National Law Schools have come up in different parts of the country. I think that has made a huge difference to the legal profession. Uh, we've had some very outstanding lawyers coming up in different branches of the law. But what has happened is that uh, uh, there have been developments that have been taking place uh, globally. Uh, for example, in India, there was the opening up of the economy in the 1990s. So a lot of the lawyers who uh, studied around that time got into what we call corporate uh, law or corporatization of law, where you have uh, talks about mergers, acquisitions, and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm not criticizing that at all, uh, because that is something which, is, uh, which was the need of the hour, and it's perhaps still the need of the hour. And uh, we need to have uh, good legal brains uh, in those directions. So if you look at it from that point of view, uh, I think the idea of uh, law skills, which has been uh, developed by Manupatra, is going to serve uh, two very crucial uh, aspects of uh, lawyering. One is that with the kind of courses uh, that are being offered, they will be introducing the legal fraternity to a very large number of uh, disciplines. Uh, many of them are new disciplines, many of them are upcoming disciplines. Many of them are uh, disciplines where we need some sort of a refresher uh, course or a refresher understanding. So that is one aspect, uh, upgrading our knowledge on uh, various aspects of the law or various disciplines of the law. I think that's a wonderful idea, and um, I'm particularly happy that uh, you know technology is being used uh, for this purpose. The second uh, 
benefit that I see from uh, the law skills program uh, is that it's going to give a lot of practical experience to lawyers. Um, well, uh, when I was in the High Court, we had a couple of uh, you know law interns, uh, persons who had uh, done their law, who had got a law degree. Uh, there were a lot of students who had been coming for uh, you know a couple of months during their vacations. Uh, the same practice is being followed in the Supreme Court. Uh, they're very good uh, interns, very uh, knowledgeable. But at the end of the day, I find that uh, you know for them to be able to uh, understand certain procedures, processes, how the registry works, and so on, is something that they're never going to learn. Uh, you know while working as an intern with a judge. Um, I remember uh, we had the most outstanding uh, uh, teachers when I was in the law faculty. Professor Madhav Menon was one of them. But when I joined the legal profession, I was completely at sea, you know, because we were taught what is the law, how do you apply the law, but what is actually happening in the courts, what is actually happening in the registry, how do you file a case, you know, uh, how do you calculate the court fee that has to be affixed? Where do you get the court fee stamps from? So on and so forth. And these are things that were never taught to us, and uh, you know, uh, whatever the reason. But uh, when we joined the profession as uh, young lawyers, uh, all of us felt completely at sea, and it took about a month or maybe two months to you know try to find our way around and understand the practical working of the law. So. Uh, this is the second aspect where I think the law skill uh, program is going to be beneficial to the lawyers, where it will teach them the practical skills, uh, not only of what lawyering is all about, uh, but also, I hope, uh, you know, drafting skills and uh, so on. Now, having said all this, you know, I think there is a common thread uh, that is running through the uh, last couple of decades the 1990s and the earlier part of the century saw a lot of development of uh, corporate law, IPR, and so on and so forth. Um, we are now going to see some other changes. Uh, President uh, Donald Trump keeps talking about America first. Our Prime Minister talks about Make in India. Uh, there is a little bit of talk about uh, de-globalization with uh, Brexit and so on. Maybe there might be some kind of a shift. I don't know. It's probably too early to say. Um, but notwithstanding all this, uh, you know, there is always a common thread that uh, I think all lawyers have a duty to society, and that is to try and help uh, those who are in need of uh, legal assistance. That's not going to change. Uh, you know, whether there's globalization or deglobalization or whatever you may wish to call it, um, there are people in this country who need legal assistance, who cannot afford uh, legal assistance. And uh, I think uh, it would be a good idea if uh, Manu Patra can think of, uh, you know, bringing in some social content in uh, their uh, courses or maybe have a special course for that. Um, I was very uh, uh, disappointed, uh, you know, if that's uh, the correct word. I was very disappointed to read uh, some time back, a couple of months ago, uh, of uh, a survey having been done by an NGO called uh, Daksh. I think they are also a lawyer's firm. Uh, they said, after a survey of about almost 10,000 uh, litigants, that hardly 3% knew anything about uh, availability of uh, free legal aid. Now, that, that's a very poor uh, you know, record, uh, considering that uh, all the courts, including the Supreme Court, have been laying a lot of emphasis on uh, legal aid for the downtrodden. Uh, if we are not able to reach out you know, to people who need legal assistance but cannot afford it, uh, people who do not know what their rights are, people do not know where to access those rights, uh, I think we are letting down society. So this is, I think, one, at least one of the common threads uh, that I find uh, which is going to remain uh, regardless of uh, what happens. And uh, as lawyers, I think all of them are members of the legal fraternity. I think all of us have this duty to society to try and see what we can do, uh, you know, to... Uh, pass on the benefits of our knowledge, of our learning, of our uh, appreciation of the law, uh, of our experience uh, to people who need it. Uh, so this is one uh, request I would like to make to Manupata to see if they can somehow or the other, you know, uh, bring this in their uh, uh, law skills uh, program. 
Uh, I would also be very happy. I think they've, they're probably doing it. We'll get to know when we see the demonstration. Uh, the use of audiovisual aids. You know, films make a huge difference. Um, recently, I had been to uh, the Judicial Education Institute in uh, Belgium, and uh, they're using uh, audiovisual aids to a very large extent. And there are people coming from other European countries to that particular Judicial Education Institute because they have been able to have, you know, very good films which will explain uh, things about the law to persons who come from other countries and who are perhaps not aware of the uh, system in uh, Belgium and in some other countries. So this is, uh, you know, something that we need to look at. We need to exploit technology. Manupatra has been doing a wonderful job uh, in using technology uh, for the benefit of lawyers. And uh, it's, uh, I think, all in all, uh, the idea of a law skills program is really wonderful. Um, and over the years, I'm sure you will enhance uh, the program, you will enhance the content. And, um, well, I'm sure we're going to see some changes uh, in the nature of uh, lawyering uh, by the young lawyers who take to this program. Uh, when I went through the list of courses, I found some which interested me as well. So if you have, uh, you know, occasion to have a judge uh, as a participant in the law skills program, you can include me in that. Uh, thank you very much and uh, all the best to all of you.